Hi, this is Chris M from App Reader, and in this video, we're gonna just look at uh, getting started with uh, an App Reader app, uh, basic setup. So we're signed into an account. I've added uh, uh, an app. In this case, it's App Restaurant, and um, let's open it up in the App Builder. So this is the App Builder tool. Um, the you're gonna see a little bit of a web preview over here. Um, splash screen. In this case, it does a sort of a peel up. Um, when you first come here, this has a startup screen uh, with a little bit of uh, you know quick uh, tips and how to get started information. You just click that closed, and that won't appear again. Uh, this is your basic. Uh, this is the the app building tool. Divided into different sections, there's a simulator, uh, which gives you a sort of a web based simulation or preview of your app. There's a tree view which gives you a sort of structural layout of of all the sections in your app. So these sections down here, these, these are called gadgets. Um, those you will see in the tree view. Uh, then when you actually click through, uh, for example, this about us area, uh, you will actually be seeing an item. Uh, an item is basically the, the uh, single screen of content. There's many different types of items, HTML type items, um, web page items, uh, video items, PDF items, and then specific data type items like um, a wine item, uh, you know, etc., etc. Then there's a publish tab here when you're ready to publish, when you basically have this thing set up, a number of settings that you'll have uh, for your app icon and your your app store account there. And this is also where you, you click publish and that um, uh, tells us that you're ready to, to go and we'll, we'll set you up on the app store from there. Uh, and then there's some additional features in the more. So let's say one, one note about web preview is uh, I mean the simulator is it's a web-based preview. Now your your app is actually a real native code app. Uh, so it's higher resolution, better performance, uh, more touch sensitivity, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But um, web preview is just to give you a sense of what your app will look like and how it will work. So it does, you know, scroll and things like that, but um, it's not, the web preview is not as uh, robust as the actual native app is. It does give you a good sense of things. Let's take a look at the tree view, and um, uh, which gives you, uh, which is where you set up the structure of your app. Uh, all app reader apps are uh, highly configurable. Uh, you can move gadgets around, you can add sections, different depths of sections, uh, and you can do that on the fly without having to update uh, to uh, um, Apple or resubmit to Apple. Uh, the tree view is divided into, at first level here is an app, the app level. This has a lot of features that are app, application wide. Um, skin and themes, this is where you change your colors. Um, tab icons, map pin icons, a lot of default settings and, and things like that. Um, this is the first uh, screen, we uh, first gadget, we call it the main gadget. And uh, when you click on any of the gadgets, you'll the properties on the right side, let's take a moment to refresh, uh, will have a, a relevant properties for that, for that gadget. Uh, so here we have different um, settings, uh, round rectangle, on, off, your, your background colors, we, we're using a uh, black stripe, etc, etc. Now, mostly when doing structure here, you add gadgets by right clicking uh, the main gadget and then selecting from one of the many different types of uh, cover flow uh, item, an image grid, etc, uh, etc. Et and you just simply would click that, take a second, give you a name there, add a name, and hit insert, add gadget. That's, that's that. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about items and how we uh, get item screens into your gadget or into your app. Thanks for watching.